Let me ask you this question. As I understand it, the Jewish people were, for, were, were forced to move to Egypt because of drought conditions in Canaan, and that was probably brought on because so many had drifted away from a life of devotion to God and more towards idol worship and moral depravity. I don't know where he bases that on, but okay. Fast forward to the time of the Holocaust. I had always thought the Jewish people of Eastern Europe stood out as loving God and living rigidly by the laws of Torah. But the thought occurred to me that maybe God used Hitler as a tool to bring on the Holocaust as a punishment for those who had drifted away as in years past. And unfortunately, some good people perished along with the bad. I guess he missed the three-part uh, series on the Holocaust. It's available online. Did, did widespread idol worship, corruption, or other types of depravity exist in Eastern Europe in the 1930s and 40s? Well... Like you said, we studied this in depth about the Holocaust in the years past. And uh, just to be very concise and short about it, the Holocaust is predicted in the Torah. People don't realize that. And we showed it in different places. God tells us there's going to be a Holocaust. Why? Because the Jewish people are not living up to the standard of God's people that he expects from us. Even though we're great, we're special, we're outstanding, we do wonderful things, but we have to live up to a great level of greatness that we are expected to be, being God's people. And God tells us he's going to bring a Holocaust. We're not living up to that standard, which is a very high standard. And the Holocaust comes because we are his children, because he's very uh, upset if we don't do exactly what we're supposed to do. And therefore, that's a sign of his love for us, not a sign of anything else, because he wants us to lift it up and to realize who we are. So he punishes us like a parent punishes a child when they're not living up to the right standard they feel they should be living up to. So obviously, the Jews in Europe were not living up to the standard they should be living, and that's hard for us to talk about because we're not so great people ourselves, so it's hard to talk about other people. But obviously, there was something missing there, and that's why it happened. Now, I, I, there were many people who were going away from Judaism. Some people don't realize that. They didn't think in Europe everybody was righteous and everybody was, was keeping the Torah, but there was naturally millions that were, but there were many who weren't. And many people were not keeping Shabbos anymore because the, uh, uh, the, 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 the poverty was beyond, was beyond uh, uh, imagination, the... the, the the persecution of pogroms and things the Jews are going through was, was a terrible life that they lived in. And they go through a lot, but God was challenging them, and they didn't live up to the challenge that he wanted them to, and therefore that's why it happened. It wasn't idol worship. People don't worship idols today. But they were not living up to the standard of Torah life and that, that God demands, and that's why the Holocaust came about. Mm -hmm.